Hey, Arthur. Careful with that horse, Okay, Arthur. take it easy. You should just be wandering around here, friend. Not a thing happens around here without an O'Driscoll saying so. Understand me? Consider this a warning. don't want any more trouble from you. Sorry, there must be some mistake. I see your friend. I'll help you out presently. Good on you. Get a fresh start. Thank you.
That queasy feeling you've been having? Think that's because right, there's so many O'Driscolls about. Is that a drug? <laughs> what am I doing? Mister? How's you? I know you're up to no good around here. Excuse me, partner. Morning. Hello. Good morning. Told me a man of the clergy joined a poker game down at Flat Neck Station. So drunk, he could hardly play. Let me know what you want. I'll bring it out. Thanks. Hey, we're watching you. Don't be starting nothing here again. Hey, fellas. Hey there. Good morning, sir. This is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. And poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. 
I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard of, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. No. Oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Uh, or, or what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. <sighs> really do not know.
Come here. Come here. Look what we got here. suffering from exposure. Suffer a little longer. Oh. Oh. I seem to keep blacking out. Oh. Sir, I must warn you, my temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? Yeah, you do seem to keep blacking out. Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Why, who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. Hey there. I don't need to be included in this. Hey there, mister. Hey, you got a problem? Hey, I'm a decent man. Don't need none of this. Morning. Oh, boy. More in that? Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Sure. Um, how much was you offered? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you, madam. Now, please remember what I told you. Okay, boy. Let's go.
Give more! Please! Prove we Good have the land of savages! Prove we're here for each other! Yeah! Mister. of life that are eternal <coughs> so give generously for that is what this country needs to help each other how about you sir hello hey, sir you get a lot of money doing this not much but it's the trying that counts if you say so well, I do and who do you help I'll help you learn to keep your mouth closed. <laughs> Sorry, sir. <coughs> Let's try and help each other. It's not about survival of the fittest. Please be generous. Be generous. Try to do what you can. Hey. Mister. Real fine. <laughs> yeah! All right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest Teak Mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so, Arthur. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. There he is. Watch where you're going. Make it Are easy, you about to pal. kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, <laughs> Try that again. 
Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. They're saying. How y'all doing? How do you do? Hey, partner. Welcome back. No, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. Okay. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? and help in here. Sure. Sounds good. Just relax. I'll take care of you. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay?
Hope the water's hot enough. I don't half gossip around here. That's how it goes around here. Oh, been a tough few weeks. Well then. So, how are you doing? Yes, yeah, not too bad. So, you must have a feller. Now, that's a question you shouldn't ask a lady, dear. You know, naked small talk isn't as easy as you might think. <laughs> you were something else. You seem nice. Oh, you are too sweet. Anyway, I'll stop boring you now. Stop it. You've been pleasant. You do feel tense. All right, I think that should do it. Okay, maybe we'll cross paths again. No more raising hell from you this time. You hear me? Look, there must be some misunderstanding.
Okay, then. you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, right? Easy, easy.
Looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> well, good luck to you. Hmm. Sure looks like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Ah, something. Mm, anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. Being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee, I got gold. Ha 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 ha. Look at this, baby. Well, wow, look at that. You found me some gold. Why don't you hand it right over? Get away from me. Ah! Ah!
There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
Would you be interested in some friendly competition? I've come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Shoot! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Oh. Better shot, I suppose. Oh, that didn't make me happy at all. Oh. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, uh -huh. that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Oh, man. Stupid, stupid. Ah, oh. oh, so you can shoot, huh? Ah, oh, here it is, okay? Not of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <sighs> Better watch out next time. You'll see. Yep. Easy, easy.
crazy now. Boy. Yeah. There we go. So up now. Whoa, easy.
Who's that? It's me, Arthur. Look who's back. Good work, pal. Okay, Mr. Morgan. You okay? What are you wearing? You must be freezing your pepper off. This stew is decidedly lacking on decent meat, Mr. Morgan. Can't wait to taste this. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Hello, Tilly. You feeling more settled here now? Yes, this is a nice spot. I began to tumble and roar. My face is red like a lobster. I fell and broke my poor lobster. My watch from my fob was picked, sir. I never get drunk anymore. Oh. Hey, there's more. Uh, I'm resolved to try it. I'll live on a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. And I'll shut the alehouse door. For that is where they tell us he made all the jolly good fellas. And I by the poker and bellas. I'll never get drunk anymore. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry about your husband, your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur.
Hey, Arthur. Setting a good example there, Arthur. Thank you, Arthur. Always good to see you. Hello, Arthur. Working hard there. Somebody's got to do it. All right, well, don't let me disturb you. Sure. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Don't you have anything warmer to wear? Anything I need to worry about? Not right this minute. Okay, good. Okay, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Talk to them, to Dutch. such a fool. Tell her, Arthur. Tell her what a fool yeah. I've been. Sure. We're all fools, Reverend. Hey, folks. Hey. Hello. You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Yeah. We need you, John. All right, then. Don't give up. I'm just not strong enough. I think you are. All right, well, I should be getting on. All right. You gonna freeze your acorns off dressed like that? Uncle.
How's it going? My bitch was good. Good. Hey. Good morning, Arthur. Hope you're working on a plan there. Always. Hey, Arthur. Come on now, boy. Okay, boy. Please help me! 
Oh. Oh. I got bit. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I need medicine. Or a siphon. Oh. 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 All right. All right. Quick oh, moment. Christ. Oh. oh, God. Let's keep this between us. Oh, you saved my life. I owe you. Have that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Now I, I gotta get out of here. Oh. 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 Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? I see your friend. I'll help you out presently.
Hi there, mister. Too far on horseback. I'm sure I'd be dead now if it weren't for you. Yeah. I can't hardly believe you heard me scream. Truth to tell. So lucky you were there. Glad I was there too, ma'am. That was a bad situation. You know, I've been near animals all my life. Been near wolves and cougars before too, but never alone. I would have been okay if I'd had my rifle. My sister taught me how to use it when we were girls. We would go shooting at foxes when they got near the chickens. My sister's sick now. She's been sick for a while, I guess. But I, I only just found out. And she's been coughing a lot. And one day she lay down in bed and, and, and hasn't hardly moved since. She'll get better. I know it. Right now I gotta take care of things. So why were you out there in the middle of nowhere? I was out hunting for food, and, well, I went too far. And then I lost my rifle, and one of them monsters jumped my horse. Flew out into the brush somewhere, and I, I couldn't, I couldn't get it back. I was surrounded, and I tried to run as much as I could, but they were too close. One of them had a red runner or something between its jaws, like it had some kill caught there. It was my horse. I didn't know it until you showed up and I had a moment to think on it. It had some of my horse stuff between its teeth. It'd be worse, though. A lot worse. I suppose. I don't know what I'll do now, mister. Horse is gone, sister's sick, rifle's gone. Might have been easier if you hadn't found me at all back then. Oh, we're getting close. I didn't think I'd see home again. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little demeaning. What are you doing out here, anyway? Clearly ain't your natural habitat. 
Uh, no, I'm just visiting. Uh, I I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan? It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack, and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard. A little bespoke woodwork, and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here, after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no offense. Little taken. Oh, yes, this does look familiar. Close to town! Excuse me, pardon. Morning, mister. <laughs> Sir, you've rescued me from the depths! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. All right. I'll keep that in mind. Come on, get clear.
How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just keep your eyes open. I am. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the black water to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna try them publicly. And gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana been to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we'll cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys, are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles. Why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Time to go, boy. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes. South of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no money yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Dutch and Hosea say they do, but it's trapped in the town. <laughs> oh, it must be wonderful to have such trust in one's parents. Mine would have sold me for a hog's head of ale. In fact, I think they tried. That's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Idiot! Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> Anyway, we should keep it down. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Pick up the pace. 
pace a bit. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Stopped. Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep. That's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Stay here. Let's get in the river. Wait until he's got them off guard before crossing. Wait here. He's still reeling them in. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You take She's the one on the left. Where is Let's go now. Turn. Keep down. I, I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Okay, lean all those boots you got there, eh? Mm. Those are very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? <laughs> Is he alive still? Mm. Come on, focus. Oh.
good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? I guess. Let's take these equipment. <laughs> Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles pissed you right separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not, the joy is back in your lives now. Easy, whoa. Yeah. 
Easy. Okay, fella. Easy boy. 
Okay then. I just wanted to say, I know you bastards missed me. Arthur! Oh, Arthur! Even you, you seem in a good mood. Even I am, you. son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you Mr. McGuire is back! I'll keep them so girls in line. If Let's I have, have to whip them, I will. And you get a bump on the head. <sighs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. <laughs> It'll be nothing but the, the finest <laughs> game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you, bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have we lots of fun! <laughs> yeah, come yeah, on. Come on. Even you, you Let's grumpy old bastard, Arthur. Let's enjoy ourselves. Uh -oh, Welcome back, Sean. I owe you one, Arthur Morgan. The drinks are on me. They I'm always the are when folks. you ain't buying. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. It's stupid. So, what now? Come on. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, I bet. <laughs> Listen, oh, my friend. Some fun. <laughs> Do you know the lot. Louisville maid? I thought you Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I oh, yeah, am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall. <laughs> 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 She was diddle 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 all the day. I put my hand upon her toe. Mark well what I do say. She says you made me rather low for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my finger on her knee. Mark well what I do say. She says you made me rather free for the diddle 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 all the day. I put my arm around her waist. Mark well what I do say. She said you made your own grace for the day, 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 day. I put my hand upon her thigh. Mark well what I do say. She said she's getting pretty now to my day, 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 day. I put my hand upon her thigh. Mark well what I do say. She said she's getting pretty now to my day, 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 day. That's good to be back. I even missed you, <laughs> you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> Me and you. Never need one of those, Uncle. I didn't think we was going to see you again. Uh, it'll take more than that to take down Sean McGuire. A hundred bounty hunters there were. Oh, is that right? Martian. Well, life's too short. You better go easy, Marston. Family man now. Mr. Morgan. Morgan. Reverend. And don't we know? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not. I'm not quite sure. 
This keeps happening. <laughs> Did you miss him? You know, I think I actually did. Hey. <laughs> Me too. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Oh, well, fine then, I guess. With a light, light heart, I rove along. Oh, I'm a wild free rover. I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over. With a light, light heart, I rove along. With a light, light heart, I rove along. The wind roves free o'er hill and river, and the clouds roam free along the sky. Each little bird's a wild free rover, and a rover wild and free am I. Oh, I'm a wild free rover, I sing a merry song. The wide, wide world I wander over, with a light, light heart I rove along. With a light, light heart I roam along. The wind roams free, a wild song singing, and softly murmuring flows the stream. The bird roams free, its wild way winging, and I rove and sing with morn's first beam. Oh, I'm a wild free girl, I sing a merry song. The wild, wild world I wander over. Oh, with a light, light heart I go along. Oh, with a light, light heart I go along. You ain't joining in? There is little joy left in drinking for me. <laughs> How are you doing, Mrs. Adler? Uh, not really in the party mood. I understand. You okay, Jose? Well done, Arthur. Uh, it wasn't just me. Anyway, I won't disturb you. See you later. As loud a mouth as ever. Ah, oh, you can talk. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right. Get on, Arthur. How are things? Hell, I'm doing real good. Mm-hmm. happens we did it 
I know. Are you having fun, Arthur? Sure. You don't look like so much fun, boy. That's your fucking hair down like a man. <laughs> Hell, even old man Strauss is more of a laugh than you, boy. Well, thank you, kid. I, I, I'm sorry, Arthur. I, I, I didn't mean it. It's just because I care. You know, it's because I love you, Arthur. Really, it is. This could be a late one, Miss Gaskell. Oh, you boys have fun. Sean seems to be just getting started. Well, I should get back to it. Okay, then. Unnatural. All this land ain't natural at all. <laughs> I ever tell you boys about the time I was lost in the Congo and became a, a living god for a few days? Seriously. It's a good one, and it's true, entirely true. Many, many years ago, I was selling camping supplies in East Africa. <laughs> uh, my lord, it was wild. Massive boys, uh, them Congo Indians, <laughs> average nine feet tall, some even bigger. <laughs> now, we was riding down the river, you know, when suddenly, our boat erupted into flames. Uh, the rest of the crew, they, they was eaten by hippopotamuses and rhinoceroses. I survived, you know. <laughs> I got taken to a, a village in the trees. Uh, they'd never seen a white man before, and as luck would have it, they, they had a witch doctor made a prophecy that a god would turn up, floating on the river, white as a cloud. <laughs> so they made me a god. <laughs> and it was fun for a few weeks. Uh, well, then they tried to marry me off to the chief's daughter. Either that or uh, sacrifice me to another god. <laughs> When I said I'm not the marrying kind, they wanted to kill me and feed me to their pigs. <laughs> I ran away and, well, I spent weeks in the jungle, <laughs> gorging off giant cockroaches. Oh, God. True story. 
I promise you. I'll see you in the morning, then. What are you doing there, you old creep? <laughs> you having fun? Always. You know me. Ain't taking you long to settle back in. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> you crazy Irish bastard. Okay. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Morgan. Ha, ha, ha.